you managed to, uh, along with Roland Griffiths and Bob Jesse, you managed to kind of spark this psychedelic renaissance uh, and navigate the red tape and, and uh, you know, everything to, to make these um, studies with psilocybin happen in the early 2000s. Um, and as yeah. you know, it was your 2006 paper showing that psilocybin occasions mystical experiences, that was really the key for me becoming, turning my attention to, to psychedelics. So I should, I should thank you for that. Um, but yeah, perhaps you could tell us a bit about that period of research at Hopkins. Yeah, it was really, you know, when Roland and Bob, Jesse, and Bob Jesse gets a lot of credit because he, he was the driving force to try to get psychedelics research started again. And he introduced Roland and uh, me to one another. Uh, even though we both lived in Baltimore, we didn't know one another. You know? And um, Roland was, a, and still is, a very well-established, highly respected uh, professor, full professor, uh, who has done, worked with many different drugs with FDA approval over his career. And uh, he was very interested in these transcendental states through his study of Buddhism, uh, but he had never uh, uh, taken a psychedelic or really worked with psychedelics in any significant way. And I happened to live in the same city and know how to structure it and uh, uh, do the therapeutic piece to make it safe and potentially effective. And uh, it's now over 20 years, we're, we're a great team. And now the Hopkins Center is expanding uh, dramatically with uh, uh, very significant funding and new space and new staff joining us all the time. So it's a very hopeful time. Right. Uh, just yeah. as uh, Imperial College in London, you know, the, uh, we, we both have centers. You spell it C-E-N-T-R-E, <laughs> we spell it C-E-N-T-E-R. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're both doing wonderful things, you know? Yeah, absolutely, yeah.